Okay, this box is attached with a nail down here and one up here. So what I have to do is I put my putty knife in here and I can feel that there is in fact a nail there. I just want to give it a little bit of room because I'm going to get a hacksaw in there. Okay, then I can feel that one there. I can give it a little bit of room. How am I going to get a hacksaw in there, you wonder? Well, here's my hacksaw. I've taken the blade out of the bottom. I love this hacksaw. It, it lets me do a few things. I can put the hacksaw in there straight. I can do it at an angle. I can pull it out and then there's a, a nice little hole at the end of it. I pull that pull that little plastic cap off, undo this screw here, and then I can put the blade in here, tighten that up. Okay, so now I'm going to use this as a little saw like that. And if this is too long, I can adjust it. Well, I'm going to get in there and hold it here and saw that out. Now if you don't have a hacksaw like this, you could take a hacksaw blade and you might even be able to do it with just your hands and pushing it down there and uh, do it that way. Put some vice grips on this hacksaw and use that as your handle. They also have a smaller little hand uh, tool that you can put a hacksaw blade in. It's just real small. I think you've seen them at the stores. You should, you probably know what I'm talking about. You could use something like that, but I'm going to use this. Another cool thing I like about this hacksaw, not that I sell hacksaws, is uh, when I have this out and I put it back here, um, this container here, I can put four or five hacksaw blades down this hole because it goes all the way down through, through here. And I can tighten that up right there to keep them from moving around and stuff. Then when I, when I need a sharp uh, hacksaw blade or if mine bends or breaks, or whatever, I can pull it off and then I can pull out a new hacksaw blade, voila. So um, I need to get some actually for this because I don't have any extra ones. So I hope I don't mess this one up, but that's what I need to do. Utilize your hacksaw the way it should. Right on. One more thing I want to tell you about this hacksaw. When you put the blade in, make sure that your little blades are facing forward. You're never going to get anywhere if you put this in and don't uh, be aware of that. If you're not aware of that, you're not going to get very far, are you? You always want to make sure that the little blades on here are facing forward, not backwards. So as you're cutting, you're cutting into the metal. All right, that's very important for anybody who, who hasn't really used a hacksaw that much. You always want to be aware of that. There's your tip for the day.